All right, so you've heard that DevOps engineers get paid an average of $130,000 a year and you want that role. Well, I'm gonna burst your bubble because this is not a video where I'm gonna show you how to do it in two weeks. This is a realistic roadmap where I'm gonna show you the foundational skills, the more advanced skills, and I'm gonna show you projects for how you can learn all of these things and actually land a role in DevOps, but it's gonna take hard work and effort. So if that sounds like you, then you've come to the right place. If not, you can click off. So whether you're just starting out in tech or maybe you've already landed a role, this video is gonna show you how to actually put in work that'll pay off. So firstly, let's talk about what in the world is DevOps and why is it one of the most in-demand tech jobs right now? So DevOps is actually a methodology and it's the practice of development and operations coming together in one workflow. So basically, instead of the developers writing the code and then throwing it across the wall to the IT folks to then implement it, they're working together in one workflow to build, test, and deploy that code automatically so it's more reliant and more efficient. DevOps has continued to be more and more important for companies and job postings have grown 18% since 2020. But I just wanna be completely real for a second. You're not gonna land a DevOps role as your first role in tech, but that is okay. Before landing a DevOps role, most people start off in roles like help desk support or junior systems admin or even cloud support associate. These roles aren't just stepping stones, but they're actually the place where you're gonna learn the basics. Things like fixing broken servers, writing your first scripts, or maybe understanding why something works in staging but doesn't work in production. I'm gonna pop a few of these on screen now, and if you're already in one of these roles, that is great. You're already building the right habits and it's gonna be a great place to start. And if you're not there, that is completely fine. I'm gonna run through what skills you actually need to learn, but I wanna say one thing first. Like if you take away anything from this video, I want it to be this point. Companies are always gonna prefer DevOps engineers who have actual experience that they've built through projects or even in their jobs, rather than people who just go for certifications. The skills I'm gonna show you, a lot of them you can learn for free on our website, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But I also want you to know that reaching this DevOps role can also take maybe a year and a half, maybe two years, maybe three years, sometimes more, sometimes less, but progress is never usually linear. Some select few do land it as their first job, but some other people take detours and that is okay. Your path looks completely different from someone else and that's completely fine. But in saying that, if you're coming from one of those entry level roles or you're just starting out, here's what I'd focus on. Let's start off with Linux. Linux is the operating system that powers more than 90% of cloud environments today. So it's a pretty good place to start. Whether you're spinning up a virtual machine or deploying an app or configuring a server, you're most likely gonna be working in Linux. That's why getting comfortable with the terminal is so important. Learn how to move through file systems, manage processes, and use commands to be able to troubleshoot. Next, one of my personal favorites is networking. Networking is one of the fundamental skills for basically any tech role, so it is important to really grasp these concepts. You need to understand how data actually moves, so learn things like IP addresses, DNS, VPNs, firewalls, these are the building blocks that connects everything together. And the truth is that most outages in companies happen because of some simple networking misconfiguration. So understanding this isn't optional at all. Like I said before, doing hands-on projects is the best way to learn in my opinion. It's how I learned networking. I did these projects here and you'll learn all the theory and implement it straight away in the cloud environment. Plus at the end, you get documentation that you can then show to recruiters or even share on your own portfolio. Check out this video if you want more information on how to document your projects to actually stand out. And finally, you need to learn scripting. Bash is a good place to start, but Python is also really useful because scripting lets you automate all the boring stuff, whether it's repetitive tasks or updates or even entire deployment. You don't need to be developer level, but you definitely need to have an understanding of the basics and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. If you want all those networking projects, just click that first link in the description. No plug, I'm just trying to help you. It's actually so good. So once you're solid with the fundamentals, it's time to move into the next area, which is all about tools that bring DevOps to life. All of the things I'm gonna show you in this section, you can do in projects, I'll show you at the end of the section. But don't skip there. I'd recommend starting with Git. Git is the version control system that every team uses to manage code. Companies like Google, Facebook, Netflix, they all rely on Git to be able to track changes, maybe manage code, or even roll back deployments when they break. This actually flows on really well to the next section, which is CICD. Continuous integration and deployment is how you go from writing code to deploying it over and over again really safely. CICD adoption has exploded across industries and tools like Jenkins or GitHub Actions are so fundamental in real DevOps environments. That's why I'd recommend the seven day DevOps challenge where you learn all about Git and you actually build your own CI CD pipeline 
completely from scratch. Plus, like I said, you'll get documentation that you can share to recruiters so you can actually prove on your CV that you've learned these skills. Check out the second link in the bio. All right, then there's containerization. This is tools like Docker, which lets you package up your app and all its dependencies so that it works everywhere, maybe on your laptop or cloud servers, or even in a test environment. It's one of the major reasons why container adoption has just surged across all major cloud platforms. And finally, that kind of leads me into actually picking a cloud platform to learn from. Realistically, that means either picking AWS, GCP, and Azure. AWS has the biggest market share, so I'd recommend if you don't know where to start, start out with AWS. Plus, all the projects that I recommended are actually gonna teach you how to learn AWS and the concepts. So things like networking or Git or CI CD, you learn both AWS and those concepts all at once. In my experience, these are not separate tick boxes where you learn one skill at once, but instead these concepts are interrelated and you can actually learn cloud and networking or cloud and CI CD. You can learn multiple skills through doing hands-on projects at the same time. That's how real DevOps works. And once you've done that, you'll be comfortable with some of the more core tools, but it's time to step it up another level. You're also gonna wanna learn things like infrastructure as code or Terraform. This is how you automate and manage entire cloud environments from servers to networks to databases. Instead of manually setting everything up in the console every single time, you instead define it once and let the code do the work. This is a lot faster, more reliable, and it's so much easier to scale. Then you also need to learn about monitoring and observability. Tools like Prometheus or Grafana or the ELK stack are gonna help you catch problems before they turn into outages. There's a reason why 99% of companies using DevOps see faster updates and smoother workflows. It's because they can actually see what's going on. And another skill set you need to learn is security. And in my opinion, this won't be optional in the future. Cybersecurity threats are at an all time high. It's only gonna get worse with AI and it's across all industries from finance to healthcare. That's why DevSecOps or weaving security into the DevOps process is more crucial than ever. Tools like Sneak are gonna help you find real vulnerabilities before they become real world headaches. I'd also recommend checking out some of the pro security projects that we have on our website. Now there's always a part that I see that's left off these type of videos and that is that DevOps is actually a human role. You need to develop soft skills as well. The best DevOps engineers are the ones that can communicate and collaborate effectively both verbal and written communication. That's why I was talking so much about documentation and the projects that you're doing. You need to be able to document clearly and be able to show you're working so that other people in the team can understand. Because DevOps isn't just about knowing the right commands or the right tools. It's about creating systems that work for the other people around you as well. And remember, this isn't something that's gonna take a week or a month could take a year, could take two, could take three. The point is that people that show up and wanna build actual experience are the ones who are gonna land these DevOps engineer roles. So as always, I wish you the absolute best of luck landing this role. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise join our community. I think there's maybe 18 or 20,000 people there now. So it's a great place to ask questions, network, meet like-minded people. I would definitely recommend. And if you made it this far, please just subscribe. That would be cool. Thank you.